cool people and welcome back to my channel my name is Yulandi if you are new here and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back baby what is good so welcome to a weekly vlog I actually thought you know what despite me not traveling this week why don't I just do a weekly vlog for you guys so you guys can see you know what is it that I get up to when I'm actually not traveling to my client and when I'm actually home. So it's going to be more of a career and a lifestyle type of video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Today is Monday, by the way, and so far I have been having a very busy day from a work perspective but also super excited to tell you guys that two of my subscribers are actually joining my organization as my graduates i'm so excited so congratulations to sonto congratulations to mpo um for really just uh, showing up as yourselves and doing an amazing and amazing job in all the interviews and thank you so much for you know always supporting my channel to the others as well please do follow me on instagram because i probably will be recruiting some more graduates um towards the latter part of the year but um right now guys i am about to leave it is mandela day by the way i'm about to leave my house and i'm quickly going to buy some essentials which I'm going to donate at an orphanage, which is close by, um, luckily not too far. And then I'm just going to drop the stuff off and um, just spend some time with them because this is also the orphanage that I will be doing my Mandela Day with, with my organization. So it would be nice to actually meet the key people that I've been talking to just to align on specific things. Uh, yeah, and then we will come home and we'll continue the work day. But welcome and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> so guys it is 25 minutes past six and yeah this is the thing about working from home i'm literally still in front of my laptop right now i'm literally just closing out the day replying to final emails um normally i am finished with my day about quarter past five but because i stepped out today to actually go donate i still have some work to close out <laughs> um i am hungry i should actually check what my load shedding schedule looks like but I just want to warm up my food in in case low shedding starts. But yeah, today was really just around working, stepping out to go to the foundation, which was for me very amazing because I am looking at doing work with them going forward. And if you don't know, I've got a very big passion for giving back. Um, not just because um, I wasn't as fortunate as I wish I could have been when I was younger, but kids are also my passion. Um, I don't want any of my own right now, but <laughs> I like to plow into our future leaders, be it from a graduate perspective, helping someone out in their career, or be it really the babies, you know? But lots, lots and lots of opportunities there. You guys can also be part of it if you are looking to maybe just like donate a monthly fee you can donate anything as little as 100 rand um, and upwards but yeah guys let me close out this day switch off my laptop and then also warm up my food so that i can eat and then what i'll do for the rest of the night is definitely edit some content because i did take some content so i'd like to edit a quick little reel for um, the foundation that i am part of as Instagram page and then um maybe I'll add it to TikTok it depends but yeah girls on TikTok now <laughs> but yeah guys um if I don't chat to you guys um throughout the rest of the night good night and let's chat tomorrow <laughs> 
saying things and we're barely talking Feel so and they don't want no walking Oh now we be saying things, we saying things We saying things and we're barely talking You be too so and they don't want no walking Meanwhile I be saying things, we saying things We saying things, just to hear the words Good morning, guys. My day has started. As you guys have seen this morning, I went to the gym and then I came back home, joined my nine o'clock meeting. First things first. <laughs> and then um, I took a shower and now I've worked a bit. But what I'm trying to do right now is to quickly just put up my mattress. Right now I'm sitting on my mattress. Let me show you guys. I'm sitting on my brand new mattress, which got delivered uh, about a week ago. And the reason why I want to pack up my stuff is because my bed is getting delivered today. So my old bed went home about a week ago as well. Last week, Sunday, they came to pick it up. My, my dad and my brother came to pick it up. Um, which is now being donated or given to my aunt. It's a very good quality. So I'm giving that to her while well, I, I gave that to her. Right now, um, I've been sleeping on my mattress <laughs> for probably a week and a couple of days now. Um, mattress is good, so I'm very happy with regards to the purchase that I made. It wasn't the cheapest, but you know, we've got a great mattress now. Uh, so that bed is getting delivered today um, those are some of the key things that's taking place today so all I'm trying to do now is just to quickly put on my mattress protector so that nothing happens to my mattress as you guys saw it's white or creamish nothing happens to it when um, the guys come and deliver my bed <laughs> know how i'm feeling okay so update i just went to go check out my bed because when they sent me videos of my bed via whatsapp i was just like mm -mm, child this does not look like what i wanted or how i envisioned it to look like so i came here to check out what my bed looks like you know and um honestly speaking i'm still slightly conflicted it is a big purchase so like that's why i'm just like mm, you know i'm not very really happy with the customer service i received as well because i asked like if i'd like to make a change in color you know will you guys be able to assist me um bloody bloody blonde the one lady that helped me like the assistant was like yeah sure we'll be able to assist you we'll be able to make the change and then apparently she went to go talk to the owner of the shop and god damn guys i always just get lessons when i want to start and when i start my small business one day customer service is going to be one of the key things matter of fact that's the first thing they teach you in marketing in undergrad you know but anyways so now i'm there i'm checking the bed i'm like mm, 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 mm. i call gabby i'm like what do you think of this bed she's like it's nice but that's exactly what you wanted and then I'm like, mm, but it's not giving what it's supposed to. She's like, I know you. She analyzes me because she knows me very well, of course. She analyzes me. She's like, no, go home. Go have a look at where you got the inspo from. Go have a look at the bed with white bedding on it and then make your decision. Okay, so it's not like I can make a decision uh, because clearly they're not going to help me out or anything. So, um, we're you guys might see my bed in this video if you guys see it just rate it let me know what you guys think <laughs> let me know what you guys think it's really not ugly it's a pretty bed it's just that the color the color looks very dark but i know for a fact it's gonna go nice with the white 
because I bought white bedding. It's gonna go nice with the white bedding. And it's also going to go nice with um, my white and gold deco in my room. So I was even starting to be finicky about the smallest of things and I said to myself, don't be difficult, Julandi, don't be difficult. These people are also just trying to make money, you know? But also, I'm a customer. Have my best interest at heart. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Also, I am dying at the security guard at the gate. The security guard at the gate, literally, when I stop, she's like, is this your real hair? I'm like, yes, yes, it is. She's like, wow. And she literally touched it. I'm like, girl, girl, you know you're a black woman. You don't touch a black woman's hair. Why are you touching my hair? What's going on in front? People can't drive again. Okay, Shab, you go right, I go left. It's a deal, bro. You go. <laughs> okay, guys, uh -uh, let me get home. Go look at references. And then also pay the remainder amount so that my bed can de be delivered. They already delayed in El Khafal when it comes to delivery because um, this bed was supposed to be delivered on like day 21. Today is probably day 26. So let me get home, do my research, guys. I even have like a very big client meeting that I'm semi stressed about. And I don't know why I'm, I've got anxiety about it because like these are my people, you know? So let me just let me just knock the client engagement out of the park, but then I can stress about home stuff because those are the people who allow me and enable me to buy home stuff. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Taking care of the bread. <laughs> Guys, we just got new work from the clients. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I was so stressed. But you know what? New work in the bag for the long run and the corporate daddies. Hello, how are you doing, child? Don't talk to me, but talk to me nice. <laughs> Guys, um, I just got off a call with the client and wows, wows. You know, you know how nice it is when the client wants you to do their work? They're like, oh, but you guys are going to conduct the session, right? And I'm just like, <laughs> yes, sir. Of course I am. <laughs> so it's so nice to hear that your client really loves your work and loves your personality. <sighs> Good morning. Today is office day, so I'm on my way to the office right now. And I'm so excited for this journey and really just plowing into them as well as graduates because trust me your first job is probably the most stressful thing ever because there is so many expectations from you you are thrown into the deep sometimes so i really just want to make this um this experience very smooth for them and i also wanted to make it very fruitful for them luckily i've got an amazing team so they will fit in right right very good why are people speeding so early in the morning chat anyways guys uh see you guys at the office you guys are gonna be what? Famous. <laughs> <laughs> Period, ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live from my brand new bed. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Anyways, guys, <laughs> hi. I hardly spoke to you guys today. Today was such a crazy day. Because, um, like I said to you guys, um, the graduates joined today and I basically had a full, well, it felt like a full day. It was a half day with them, but um, an amazing, amazing, amazing bunch of individuals. I am so excited to 
venture on this year with them but basically guys like my highlight was when i walked in <laughs> my highlight was when i walked in and literally i think so there's four graduates that joined today two of them are my subscribers the other one is like a my cousin's best friend's brother we like yeah she has my number so she saw when i advertised it like on social media as well as like on whatsapp but long story short when i walked in literally my two subbies went crazy <laughs> girls y'all went crazy <laughs> and i'm sure they're watching this if work is not keep keeping them too busy but um they went crazy they're like oh, you love that. it's my people guys i'm so happy for them i'm so happy for them uh let me show you guys how big my bed is and kind of like the concept that i have please do not judge this room it is all over the place okay first let's just get the new bedding out so this is the duvet inner this is the cover as well as the two pillowcases this is ab absolutely soft i love this this is ball fiber oh it's feeling so good i'm so excited let me set this up and then i'll show you guys what the bed looks like okay guys so this is basically the setup that i have right now this is what would need to work so what we are going to now do this weekend is buy decorative pillows that's going to come at the back of these white pillows Listen, work just got hectic, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still here, I'm still alive, I'm doing good as you can see. Looking good, looking fresh. It is Saturday, probably the most favorite day of the week for me. Because I get to do chill stuff, I wake up relaxed. It's just, you know, giving what my life is supposed to be like every single day. I love slow mornings. That's why you guys saw me having a cup of coffee in bed. I absolutely love slow mornings, guys. Anyways, today is Saturday, like I said, so I am going to go get my facial done now. I'm actually going to start doing peels on my face. So the lady said I need to get a facial first before um, she actually does peels because she wants to test her products on my skin to see if my skin is reacting to anything, you know, you know, just to be safe right now. I'm quite happy with what my skin looks like. The only thing that I'm still struggling with is my acne scars, but that's what the peels are going to work um, and help for firstly facial and then we are going to go get our nails done and then we are going shopping for some home decor stuff hopefully i can get the pillows that i'm really looking for this weekend and then later on i'm meeting with one of my friends so come along i actually find it weird that i never show you guys outfit of the day especially during the week but on weekends i finish showing you what i'm wearing because i i actually be slaying to work i really be slaying my corporate self anyways what i'm wearing today why is this jean day man i'm wearing my vans guys i hardly wear them i'm wearing this balloon jeans from mr price 
a black turtleneck top as well as my KOA jacket. And then this is my Erin bag. I got this on Shein a long time ago. And then I just have like a bow and then I just have my hair up. My hair is currently still like slightly wet from the spring, but like once it's dry, it will be able to go bigger. Let's go because I hate being late, hate being late, hate being late, because being late is very unprofessional. I quickly came home to literally put some sunblock on because as you guys saw I got the peel but I will tell you guys all about the facial and the peel and basically everything that happened to my face a little later on but I just came to literally like put sunscreen on my face because I wasn't sure the products which she, that she put was like a high SPF so I just wanted to put like a high SPF on my screen on my face <laughs> and then I also wanted to drop off my golf clubs and then I'm going to the shopping center now to quickly go look for home stuff. But this is what my nails look like, guys. I'm so happy. Oh my God, isn't this cute? And this is also full color. So this is what my nails look like. I actually love this French vibe going on. I think the next time I'll probably just like get French all of my nails like this because it looks so classy. And then I can just have like, you know, maybe like different colors all the time. But yeah, I get bored very easily. So let me not, let me not lie. But yeah, guys, let's quickly get to um, home deco shopping. It's currently one o'clock and I'm meeting my friend at four o'clock. So I want to be home by three o'clock so that I can quickly get ready. Luckily, I'm not putting any, on any makeup because I just had a peel. I'll probably just do my brows and some eyeshadow and then I'll see what I do with my hair and dress up because it's cold outside. Let's go. that I'm wearing um, I'm just going with these Puma kicks these are fire no one can tell me otherwise I'm going for like this white tank top and a black long coat I don't want to be late let's go <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning guys. I trust you guys are still enjoying this vlog. So it is Sunday, blessings, blessings and blessings. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. It is quarter past 10 right now and I need to make my way to church. So I'm um, wearing all black. So just this white pants, white leg, um, formal pants with a black tank it's the same as the one i wore yesterday just in black this these i got from the fix i love them and then i'm just wearing like a short uh sleeve brown blazer this i think i got from Shein. and then i'm going to be wearing these black aldo shoes the heel is not that high this this is more like the formal ones i do have the same type of ones in white just with a longer, longer stiletto. And then what I am going to be wearing as a bag is this brown bag to go basically with my blazer. And that is it for church. Let's go. Wow, the message was so powerful today. Managing and embracing change was the message. And it was basically just like around, you know, um, accepting change when change happens normally there's a positive thing that will come from it so for me that was like a great reminder but it's a new series um they will be talking us through it 
every Sunday, so I'm so excited for this new series that's um, about to start. It is Sunday, guys, and I'm really just going to spend some time today to spend time on the stuff that I want to do from a personal perspective. I am planning on a little small business, business situation, you know? So please be on the lookout for that on my Instagram. I will be announcing it very soon. So um, I need to work on that. Just, just some price lists and stuff that I want to put together. I'm also very hungry, so I can't wait to get home to eat. And yeah, it's just going to be a good Sunday. gonna definitely find me in is a hoodie because it's so so comfortable but i quickly wanted to come tell you guys about the lady that did my skin yesterday honestly 15 out of 10 she did a phenomenal job so i initially went there for a facial um but when i got this she did the facial and she's like well you know your skin is not in a very bad state so let's go ahead and do the peel so that we can you know kind of like start getting to the end of the problem <laughs> but anyways like i said my acne scars are the biggest issues that i have so we did the peel yesterday that was great so i did the facial i did the peel and then she's like oh by the way i see like your brows are growing back like your hair is growing back and i'm like yeah and she's like um should i do a wax for you i'm like sure girl like go ahead i'm not gonna say no so she waxed my brows but i must say like I've never waxed my brows before, so right now they're all like nice and clean and everything, but they are quite sensitive, like it was quite sensitive yesterday and this morning here yeah, around my brows, but like I'm okay now. Um, But yeah guys, the peel kind of like, yo, it was, my face was on fire with the peel, like it was so, it, it like burnt my skin, but not in a bad way, in a good way. Um, She did a 50% regime A peel, and then um. It was literally, I think, on my skin for a couple of minutes. So what the peel does, the peel, like, starts revealing all your problem areas on your face. Like, it starts revealing the pimples. It starts revealing, like, where you congest congested. Um, after that, she went in and actually did extraction. So, like, right now, my skin feels very smooth because she literally, like, got, got all the gunk out of my skin. And then after that, um, she basically just went ahead and scrubbed, you know, kind of just to smoothen out the face as well. Then she gave me a product that is basically also a regime A. I think I pronou I'm pronouncing it properly. I hope so. Um, but it's a South African brand and they also use natural products. So she gave me a product that I need to use that I put on my face every day so that my face doesn't dry out. Let me show you what it looks like. So the product looks like this. You see that's the brand Regim A. So I also did the peel from this brand. And what this is, it's the laser peel and dermabrasion repair serum. It's like um, basically if you go for any laser, if you go for any peel or derm dermabrasion, um, that's what they're going to give you to repair your skin so that your skin doesn't get damaged. So I'm currently using that. So it's, it's washing my face with water for the next three days, just washing my face with water, putting that on. Then I can put on my, um, moisturizer as well as my sunscreen. But yeah, guys, that was my facial experience. I also just paid for the facial. Um, she didn't make me pay for the peel nor the wax. And the one thing I want to say is that is really good customer service because number one, she knows that I'm going to return based on my first experience. And that for me is why I was wiling out about this bed and how they treated me at this bed because that is not what customer service is about. Anyways, I'm by the way, very happy with my bed right now. But yeah, the peeling journey has begun, guys. Then I also wanted to show you guys what I got from the home shop for my house. I got this cutting board because the one that I have right now is really outdated. This was 50 bucks. And then I also got like these small little mats for my bathroom. This goes with the color of my bathroom because my bathroom is like majority brown. So just the one that you put in front of the shower and the one that you put at the toilet. This was I think 120 bucks. Yes. This was one thing just now at Osborne Home. 
and then i got some clothes guys this was not planned for this is like a black and white uh track pants this is what it looks like i think this is going to be actually be like a very nice fit then i got some tights i love wearing these tights in the house so i got these tights i got a gray one as in a dark gray one and then i also got a light gray one which is yeah i got this light gray one as well and then i got these jerseys for next year winter because winter is almost over but i like them so i took them this i got in maroon and then i also got it in like a cream beige color type of thing i'm very excited about these and then the last item that i got was just a belt in a beige color as well if you guys know me you know that my brown my aesthetic is like brown beige and white as well as black yeah that's what i got <laughs> the one thing you're going to hear me listen to is deep house girl it's deep house it's deep house for me but yeah guys i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching i'm going to end this vlog now because i'm starting a brand new weekly vlog and you know what thank you so much for watching please make sure you subscribe if you are not subscribed just yet what are you what are you still doing here like can we chat please subscribe to my channel because clearly you like the vibes thank you thank you have a good one guys and we will chat again bye